A big undercover bus leads to almost two dozen arrests in West Baltimore. Authorities say it's part of their continuing crackdown on drug gangs in areas that have seen surges in violence. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at police headquarters with an issue he's been covering extensively, the battle against guns and drugs in Baltimore. Mike? And police say they often go hand in hand. Some of those indicted remain on the streets at this hour. A major joint investigation involving city, state, and federal law enforcement targeted drug dealers in some of the most violent streets in West Baltimore, leading to these indictments. Investigators tell WJZ members of the unnamed drug organization sold heroin to undercover officers more than 30 times. The sting centered on the intersection of North Pulaski Street and Edmondson Avenue. Tell me what you'd usually see right around here. Drug dealers. What they look. And were you surprised when you didn't see it today? Yes, I was. That's a good thing. 21 people face federal and state indictments. The operation unfolded between September 2015 and this January. Many drug transactions took place just feet from an elementary school. If they did it in front of kids, they're going to make the kids want to do that type of stuff. There's a lot of moving parts to be able to pull off some of the cases that we work. The feds say many of the men they arrested had violent backgrounds including convictions for conspiracy to commit murder, attempted murder, assault, and armed carjacking. It's part of a bigger push to wipe out drug gangs and stop the flow of illegal guns in the city, an issue WJZ covered extensively after violence that led Baltimore to its highest per capita murder rate in history last year. Drugs in all the neighborhoods, you know what I mean? I mean, it might help. But it ain't gonna help us help us so much. Does it feel like it's a never ending battle in Baltimore City? It's continuing and for for us, we have to continue doing what we're doing to stop it. And the US attorney said these criminal organizations spread violence and despair, and he's determined to wipe them out. Those charged federally face those tougher federal penalties. Live at City Police Headquarters, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Mike. And on WJZ this Sunday, a special edition of CBS Sunday Morning will tackle the issue of guns and America. It airs at 9 a.m.